are not in the shop today because it got stupid cold. Like, yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we don't have a video for you because he's been spending time on Marketplace instead looking for parts and pieces for Rat Rod Build. And what, what'd you get? I did find some stuff, but that's not gonna be the cool part of the video. The cool part of the video is who was selling the stuff and that's uh, Gertz Ratworks. And uh, he, uh, I talked to him a little bit. He said that he was happy to let us bring you guys along and come down and check out some of the stuff that he's got going on in his shop. One of which is uh, his build, or at least one of his builds that he's doing for the Rat Rod Build Off. Yeah, that's cool. And I hear it's like a lot further along than ours. Something like 70% done or something like that. So. so that should be a lot of fun to take a look at. A little sneak peek at somebody else's build. So. And maybe some other cool stuff he's got sitting around the shop too. We'll just have to see what's happening when we get down there, I guess. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, we made it down here to Galena, Kansas, and um, we are now at uh, Gertz Rat Ratworks. Works. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm Taylor with Gertz Ratworks, and, and uh, it's a cold day. So this is your build? Yeah, that's car number one for the build off. Um, she's probably about 70% done. Does it got a name yet? Quasimodo. Quasimodo. <laughs> the, the initial thought was it was a humpback car and Quasimodo came into, uh, yeah. into my mind on that. Yeah. And then of course with four wheels, like we gotta make it Quasimodo. Yeah. There you go. So, I dig it. And I think the second one with it being a midget, I think I've called it Bridget the Midget, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll let I'll let Miranda be the, the final. And what's the second one gonna be again? Fifty seven MG. Bridget the midget. Hey, we yeah. have an MG. We could, we could, uh, but not that old. Yeah, it's a little James Bond looking. Car, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Ours is still technically there because it's a '79 and the '80s the cutoff. So, yeah, you could probably do that. So, and if you small. need parts, it's available. <laughs> <laughs> the bad thing is, I'm probably gonna end up taking most of the parts off, and it probably won't be too recognizable. Maybe the rear quarters, yep. the, the whole front will probably go off. So, yep. So what this car started out as? It was a 37 Oldsmobile. Um, Oldsmobile. Okay. Yeah, it was a two-door coupe. Um, it was a nice car for, for back in the day. Had a lot of the uh, amenities, rear ashtray. Of course, had the clock and everything in it. But it's a high art car. It came out of Arkansas. Um, I have no idea how long it's been sitting in this, uh, this uh, tree row that we pulled it out of. And it's. Uh, it lived a decent life. It didn't have too many miles on. I think there was only like eleven thousand showing on the odometer when really? it got pulled out. So hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the story was on it. Transmission was gone. So that could have been the reason why it got parked. So I don't know. Yeah. So you got sitting on a Trailblazer. What year is the Trailblazer? That's an 08. 08 Trailblazer frame. Uh, it was four wheel drive. I've taken it back down to two wheel drive just to kind of keep her light. Four wheel drive would have been cool, but yeah. maybe another day. So we got some '57 Chevy quarters. Yeah, back here. yeah, I had to put some '57 Chevy quarters on her. It's kind of funny because uh, the Rat Rock build off, they would announced uh, a couple of judges, and these were on there prior to their announcement. But uh, Chris Walker being one of their judges, yeah, they kind of kind of cracked me up because I think he's gonna he's gonna kind of like it a little bit. That's kind of his thing. Yeah, it's Always got a his vibe on going on. Yeah, yeah. yep. Eventually, I might turbo this thing. I, it'll be after the build off for sure because I'll be definitely over budget if I do that whole turbo. Oh, yeah. All that good stuff. I've actually seen people making pretty good power with these. Oh, yeah. I was really kind of surprised. Got me kind of thinking about building one of them. Yeah, they're kind of a, kind of like GM's back burner deal, but. Yeah, it's kind of know, a, just kind of got overshadowed by all the LS stuff. Right, right. So, I've already built. A 5.3, a 6.0, oh, and an 8.1, so I figured, well, let's try this puppy out, keep on going down the GM's list. It actually fits in there a little bit better than the V8 too, really. Yeah, yeah. The, the old, I mean, this was a straight six car anyways, but it does, it fits really nice. Yeah. What is the hood ornament off of? I have no idea. I found that at a, at a yard or an estate sale over in Yates Center. And, then I ended up just kind of modifying it and kind of putting like a little more gear head, you know, touch to it. But yeah, take an old breakover bar I had and just cut it down to make it look like a joust or some stuff. You know, I dig the hell out of it. It looks cool. 
Yeah, she's going to get in that next O cage for sure. A little more Mad Max look anyway. Yeah. I'll probably put some sliders on her and stuff, some rock sliders. So uh, how much are you going to do like the inside of it and everything? She's going to be pretty bare bones. Um, I've got a couple of bomber, air bomber tanks I'm going to throw in, in the back as fuel cans. Um, other than that, the seeds, I'll build the center console more. But I don't think we'll put any door skins or maybe even front windows in there. Just kind of bare bones it. So. Yeah. Well, I'm just drive the snot out of her. That's, that's kind of the old last holds I had. I mean, we put like 20,000 miles in like a year and a half time on her, so we really drove the snot out of them. Are you going to drive from here up to the rest stop? Yeah. Both yeah. well, cars in. will be driving all the way up and back. Sweet. So, kind of make up for me not bringing a, a car last year. So I kind of feel like I got to really up it. Up the ante, anyway. Yeah. Well, maybe we can meet up part of the way there and oh, yeah. cruise up there. That'd be cool. Yeah, for sure. Get another train going on, kind of like we had last oh, yeah. year. Yeah, I know my dad. He's he's planning on going, and I'll probably meet up with him in St. Louis. So, which will be different next year. You know, you're not doing the big tour thing, but I think it'll be just as fun. Yeah. So. I know there's already a handful of people that have hit me up that um, are willing to drive up with us when we go. So. Oh yeah. Cool. Be, especially coming be out of Kansas. Group. So. Yeah, hopefully be a good group. I think so. I think so. And they said what? Uh, close to what? Two hundred entries? Something like something, that. something absolutely like crazy. crazy. It's crazy. getting yeah, insane. Yeah. That's just gonna be wild. Yeah. Well, for a build off, even if only a fourth of them can show up, yeah, that's, that's a lot good. of cars. That's still good. <laughs> that's a lot. So. Well, right here behind Julie is what we actually came to get. We've got a set of stacks that we're going to pick up here today, and I'm going to take your guys' advice. A bunch of you had suggested using them as side pipes on the truck, and I like that idea, actually. I thought that was a pretty good idea, so we're going to snag those up and make those into side pipes. And they're a little, little dinged up, but you can fix that. Yeah, I'll pound that back out, and we'll put that side down, and we should be good to go. Nice. This will be probably voiced over later because you're not gonna be able to hear me, but. cool getting to hang out with Taylor a little bit there and check out all of his stuff so he's got a lot of neat things going on there and uh, we're heading back now but as much as Julie doesn't want me to uh -huh. <laughs> we kept passing signs for Big Brutus and I haven't seen Big Brutus for a really long time I have seen it before and seen what it is but for those of you that don't know what Big Brutus is Big Brutus is like the world's largest steam shovel that's still in existence I think Something Maybe. like so, I don't know. something like that. I don't. I, Some sort of claim to fame. It's been an extremely really long time since I've seen it, but uh, I thought we're so close. I want to at least drive by and just look at it from at least the car as we drive by. It doesn't seem like it's going to be out of our way any at all. And I know I can't get Julie out of the car to go check it out because it's, it's too cold, cold out there. <laughs> 
But anyways, I just thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys and for me to get to see it again. Also down here, there's a train museum and a train depot thing here. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys. Well, there it is guys, Big Brutus, and put that in perspective for you, right about there is a road grader. And then we've got two really big sized dump trucks right there, and even another, back off over there in the distance, way over there, is another big steam shovel that is basically the size of a building. And this thing is towering above all of it. Yeah, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in for you guys a little bit here. There's a road grader, and this thing is huge. Big giant trucks, and there's that other steam engine, or other shovel back over there that's just a building with some stuff sticking off of it. <laughs> Quality of the video here sucks because I'm super zoomed in, but just wanted to give you guys a little better perspective of how big that thing is. It's really pretty cool. So I was starting to pull away and I noticed something else that I thought was really cool. You see Big Brutus there. And then in the little hole that it's in, we keep zooming in, there is what's normally right in that area right there beside that tree. That's a normal sized little old school crane, excavator type of thing, whatever you want to call it, shovel. And you can barely see the top of it. You also cannot see the tracks on Brutus. Big Brutus's tracks, if I remember right from when I was here last time, are like over six foot tall and it's down in a hole so deep that you can't even see those right now. You can see off there in the in the back, you can see some water and you can kind of see all along through here. This whole area had dug all that out as it came through this area. And this is kind of where it just stopped being used and that's kind of where they left it because it was so big and so hard to move from here. Anyways, I thought the thing was really cool and I thought some of my fellow gearheads on here might think that it was cool too and maybe someday we'll get a chance to come back and actually go and check it out. But for now, we're going to have to head back to the shop and I want to see if I can straighten out this pipe real quick before we call this a video. Well, we made it back and got these things unloaded here at the shop and I want to go ahead and try to knock that out real quick. I don't think it'll take too long. I'm going to set it up here on the sandbag. I don't think I need that one. And then I just need to find something that's kind of close to that shape that we can stick in there and whack it a few times. I think we'll have it. I don't know. This is this is actually thick enough that I don't know if any of my hammers are really going to do much to it. If there's one to do anything to it, it's probably this old thing here I made forever ago. If they would get in there, let me see what it'll do. Got it about 80% of the way there. I don't know, let me see. I don't think this little thing here is going to do anything to it. I don't think it's got enough weight to it. It's definitely a lot better than it was already. I mean, 
I could run it like that, but I'm going to be a little bit pickier than that and say that we need to get just a little bit farther. Let me see what else I can find. So I got this little block and it's pretty solid. So I'm going to try to stick that in there. You do got to be careful with this because it's got a sharp edge on it and I could potentially do more damage than good. But I'm hoping since it's got a little bit closer to that same shape as this pipe, we can get that in there and make a little difference. This is really a two person operation. That did, that pushed it out a lot. We don't have much time in it yet, so let's keep pushing. Let's see what happens. So I got one spot here that's actually rolled out that way. I think we can tap that around too and make it even a little bit better. Good smooth hammer. Make shift around dolly. That's not too bad. That's fairly straight. What I am noticing now, though, now that this one's actually all kind of, you know, back to where it should be, these aren't cut the same. Same size tube and all of that, but this is probably more like it was an elbow or something. It might have been the other end of this stack instead of it being two top pieces. This might have been the bottom and this might have been the top. Doesn't matter. It's still going to work for what we're going to do. I'm just going to have to probably come in here and trim that up a little bit so we get a little bit bigger throat here in the end so that they look the same on each side. Not the end of the world. I'm pretty happy with them. And like I said, I think this is going to look pretty good. Let me just turn this side to the bottom. Nobody will even see the little scratches on there. We'll be good to go. Also, as part of the deal, he threw in this box with all these clamps in it. So we've got a bunch of clamps now that we can actually use to be able to kind of put this stuff in. And a really cool box. I really like the box more than the clamps even. So that's pretty cool. Oh. All right, so since these are for the build-off truck and we're supposed to be on a $5,000 budget and we're supposed to be keeping track of what we spend our money on, I think we're gonna go ahead and start our money list right now. So this is the first thing that we're gonna keep track of. Now I have spent money on the truck and I also have spent money on the chassis and all that for it, but we haven't actually done anything with those pieces yet. So I will add those into the budget once we get to those parts and pieces in the video. But for now, that puts us in right now on these at a hundred bucks. And to prove that, I don't have a receipt, but I do have the a screenshot of his Facebook market messenger, can't talk, his Facebook market ad that uh, he had put up for these. And I didn't knock him on his price any at all, but he also did hook us up with those clamps in that box. So uh, yeah, we're at a hundred bucks right now on this. And before we go, I do want to say thank you again to Taylor for having us out and letting us look around all these stuff, hooking us up with these and all that. That was awesome. And I guess I don't have much more that I can really do for you guys in this video. So I'm going to call it quits and I'll see you guys next Wednesday at seven. Later.